are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ryan. And in today's video, I'm out here in Mississauga. I'm gonna repair this structural column. As you see here underneath the bottom, if I just zoom up here a little closer, you can see that there's nothing holding it up underneath the bottom. So our job today is to remove this here. And we're gonna put some posts here, some, some two by four to support it and wrap it waterproof it and then we're gonna go ahead and install the stone we have over here with some permican permican stone this is the stone that we're gonna we're gonna put around our columns okay guys so with no further ado let's dive right into the video but before I jump into the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more point video like this one and also if you're a bricklayer brick stone mason and you're looking for work you want to join the 1kb foundation send us an email i'll leave a email link down here send us an email we were looking for bricklayer right now within the Durham, toronto region so you don't have to be two four year experience if you even just started out now to put one on two brick i don't mind to take you on and teach you as well so send us an email let us know if you're interested come on board and work with us Let's dive right into the video, guys. Okay, guys, so right now we're gonna remove our columns. That's gonna be our first step. Is to take this bad boy out of the way. guys so as you see here we just remove the molding from around the column we remove the column now we remove the molding now we're gonna put some 2x4 to support it from in the middle here also support it from from down at the ground here that's gonna be our next step right now I'm just gonna put a little right here on this wall this wall that's already finished we're just gonna mark it Take the measurement. This is inch and three quarter. I'm gonna take the same inch and three quarter over here, inch and three quarter here, another inch and three quarter over here. I'm gonna draw a line here. Just trying to have it lined up in line. In my opinion, I think it looks way better rather than bring it out here. Even though my client is trying to save some space. We're gonna go with the same space we have here over this side just so that it looks nice. Now we're just gonna put our square, just square this one here now. So let's try that's the side that we're gonna use for this one. So let's see, I catch this measurement here, I'm just gonna square it across back here now. Gonna take the same 13 over here. 13 inches. Just gonna screw up this one over here. Guys, so this is the first step is to get it square. Now we need to catch our center now, half of 30. So that would be six and a half. As you see, we're just gonna go ahead now and make one straight cut. This is how we're gonna do this column here. It's a very small column because, as you see, the space that we have here, it's a very small column because the space, the doorway space, is very tiny. So we're only gonna go with 13 by 13. This is my Super Six plastic I have here, and I'm just gonna put before I put down my my plate onto it. So 
as you see here, I have my mark right in the center so that, that I know where is my center. Just draw it out a little further. I have a double piece of Super 6 plastic here. Just gonna leave it right here. Get a piece of two by four. Put it right over my mop, right over in, right in the center of my mop. Just gonna go ahead and secure this into our, into our concrete right now. It's pretty good where she is now. Putting a pressure treated 4x4 four four post right here. Looks like it's our own. I'll cut it 89 and 5 eighths. Eight. Just gonna square right around. Just like so. Square her right around. Now we gotta cut that off. To install the Tyvek being as it's a pressure treated hood, but I'm still gonna go with still gonna wrap the Tyvek around it. Okay guys, so this is how it looks before we go ahead as you see here. I use a super six underneath the plate with some weeping plastic just for extra support. Also use some Tyvek. This you can skip this process, being as it's a, it's a pressure treated hood. But I still go ahead and put the pressure, I still go ahead and put the Tyvek there. I tape all my seam, my joints. Just see here, we secure it up top there. Nicely into, you see here, this board here, these joists run right across, and this one run right across. So we secure it right in the center of this. What I did, we, we take the measurement that we have down here, which is from four and a half from the, the mark we have there at the hedge to our post. The same measurement we have up here and over here, the same measurement we have from the bottom to where we want our stone to finish is the same measurement we have up here. Our post is perfectly plumb. So now we're just gonna go ahead and start to install some stone. You guys saw this here, I put a few stone around. This is basically how my column is going to be. Doesn't matter, you can have whatever size column you want. We're going to lay a few courses up top, and then afterwards, we're going to run some line to square off our column. So, we're going to remove these ones that we have here and, um, and then start. Your first course is probably one of the most important course. You want to go to make sure that it's 100% level right around. I'm just going to put this one right here. Just like so, as you know, we have our measurement lined up with the existing pulse that's here so that it looks nice and square. So that one there, we're just gonna butter the face of our stone here. Nice and done like that. We're looking for a half an inch to trace joint space or our joint right here. So the two here, I don't have to cover it up because our client gonna change the steps and the uh, walkway so we get away with have to cover up way more than we would. So I level that way, just gonna level this way.
put it right out of the edge here just to make sure it's clear which I know that my line is clear so I just work it from my line across I'm just leaving it across it's the same result as in plumbing it it's very important make sure that you get everything nice and plumb Okay guys, so right here we have three lines go all the way up. As you see I make sure I plumb my two stone here, plumb it there before I put my line. String my line go all the way up there. We take the same measurement, the same measurement that we have at the bottom across. It's the same measurement you want to put up top there. Same thing at the front, same thing over that side. Now we're only gonna use three line on this. Reason why, I was actually gonna put a line here, but there's nothing here to, to, to insert my line in. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. Usually three lines work. But, um, so this is how it is. Just gonna keep going now and run this up. Should take me a hour to put it up together. Let's go. Okay guys, so right now I'm just gonna measure to see how high we need to go, what size joint we need to work. So basically this stone is 11 and a half, this, the, the joint is 12 inches. So all I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna measure one feet from the top, come all the way down, 12, 12 inches, 12. Then we have another 12 here, we have another 12 here. So on and so forth, come all the way down. And all we have to do now is just work for these 12 inches more. Right here. See, this is my last mark here, and it's, it's nine, eight and a half. Yeah, I think I might just cut and just go with a nice half an inch joint go all the way up. We'll see, guys, as we go. Let's keep going for now. It's important to take your time and set it up properly. Let's put some brick ties just to hold it in place. It's important to get, take your time and set it up properly. So that as you go up, it's more easier for you. Just to make it go faster. So around 30 minutes 35 minutes into it the 
This is where I'm at. We only have like two more pieces. And then we're gonna be done. My battery was a bit low, so I just give it a little bit of charge. our wire brush we're just gonna go through with our brush we just brush the joint out from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more cool video like this one thank you for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one if you're a brick mason stone mason want to join us i'll leave an email down here feel free to shoot us an email and be a part of our team we're looking for a bricklayer right now to join us so if you have one two year experience know how to lay bricks on the line I don't mind to teach you a little bit. So for now, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it here and I'll catch you again, maybe Wednesday come in another video. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace out.